Here we are again. Time for some more Aurora Dawn. Session 4. As you go through the portal. Splash. Shh. You're in water. But it's pretty shallow. And you quickly rise to the top. Ah, dang it. I hope this didn't ruin my guitar strings. Johnny will start shaking all the... Uh water off his guitar you uh, go through the portal splash down into the water and then you make your way back up you emerge sunlight greenery all the way up you seem to be in some kind of cavern hole in the ground perhaps beautiful floral designs going all the way up the uh, inside of the cavern walls and you can see exotic trees blooming out over the edges and the sunlight beaming in over high. As you guys stabilize yourselves and start to look around, you realize that on your level, down here, there seems to be like a cave area and it goes even further inside in some areas. And there's a waterfall behind you, rushing and splashing water down, feeding this pool that you seem to be in. And as you look down, it does go further into the ground. You realize you're not alone. You seem to be surrounded by monkeys of some sort. Yes, as you look around, you see very hairy looking people. They all stop and look at you. Uh, some of them are hunched down like monkeys. They're all pointing. Jumping up and down. I don't think these are monkeys. I think these are They They definitely look different they're wa they're walking more upright as they're all screeching and making primate like noises you see over here this one dropped some stones it was working with there's a fire here a bunch of sticks nearby and this one seems to have a little baby version of themselves there may be a few of those walking around male and female as they're all screeching hopping jumping up and down what do you all do we're we standing in the water no, you're. It goes deep, so you guys are. Okay. You guys are having to wade at the surface and move your arms and kick your legs. Johnny's gonna start swimming towards uh, the edge. All right, this one. Uh, this one. <laughs> hopping up and down, moves to the side. This one as well. Moves away from you as you guys are making your way towards the shore. These others are moving around. Since I'm closer to this shore, can I swim here? Yeah, you can. And as you do that, yeah. as he gets start out, he's going to start just like <clears throat> shaking his stuff out, trying to check his baggies, make sure I'll also, uh, see if there water, any water got in them. <laughs> um, check my bag, I'm turning it inside out in case if there's any water in it. All right. So, yes, unfortunately, one of your drug pouches did get a little soaked. And there was some water inside of your packs and everything. But as you get up and onto the surface, the water starts to... Tr and uh, if you dry out your stuff, Johnny, it should probably be salvageable if you don't throw it to the wind. But yes, the ones in the in the weird clothes, they get up and you're, the water drains off of you. This uh, fire? Yes, the fire is going. And um, this these cavern... Walls going up to the sun and the the trees reaching over and this waterfall is probably like a hundred feet or so. And there's like a kind of like a this starts to elevate up and to the top here. So there's like a kind of like a steep incline here. Uh, uh, at least uh, at least we've come to a point to be, uh, after Prometheus has been has given us fire. I'm just gonna walk slowly around, non threatening towards the fire, and kind of stand in front of it. Try it, or holding his hands out to dry it. I'm, go I'm gonna, I'm gonna the previous Prometheus has been here before us. Would would have thought that we came before fire was created. This world was given to us mortals. As he starts drying out, Johnny's going to uh, just dump all of his one of his bags, his shrooms, into the fire, filling the air with psychedelic smoke. <laughs> They are getting themselves cornered. <laughs> History's first stairs. As you start approaching them, 
Jack, from the back, a stone is thrown, and it slides across the ground near you. Jack, <laughs> let's not provoke them too much yet. We don't know what's going on here. They might be useful. I'll just sit in the dirt and watch them. They all kind of huddle hey. together, looking at you curiously. Some of them with sticks, some of them with stones. One of them, more brave than the others, comes up, makes sniffing noises as he's down on all fours, making weird, hmm, sniffing, ju sniffing Jack out. As he's to, uh, just point my cane at him. He backs up when you point the cane. Not sure. Do you also have a stick? He, but my Spurgeon stick is I, sharp. I'll, I'll, Spurgeon, I'll, I'll show them my shield. It's all shiny and everything, being reflected by the water and uh, the eyes the widen. Johnny just gonna kind of sit down as his stuff dries out and uh, start strumming lightly on the guitar. Very good. As you do so, they uh, they look at you, their heads cocking, curious noises. This one slowly reaches his hand out to touch the tip of uh, Jack's cane as he touches as he touches the cane. He quickly redraws his hand and comes back. I'll unsheathe the sword and set the cane on the 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 wooden cane part on the ground. He goes up, looks at you, looks at the thing, grabs it and pulls Not it back. Head. He looks at it. He swings it around. He starts slapping it on the dirt. Another one comes uh -huh. up. They have a stick Don't too. Break it. They start tapping the stick on the ground. And then they look at what he has. And then they're curious. They start fighting over it. He pulls it back. <laughs> he comes over. As he seems to get more comfortable with you, so do the others. As they're slowly approaching. Curiouser and curiouser. I'm gonna, I'm gonna find a random stick on the ground, uh, grab it, and pull out my hand axe, and I'll chop it too. You start chopping sticks? Yeah, just to. With, 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 with the they jump, the they jump, yeah. they jump back scared, but they see you make one stick into many stick. <laughs> How do you do this? I'm assuming they're not actually speaking a language, just grunts and grunts. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's just oogas and boogas. I unga, therefore I bunga. <laughs> but something that could perhaps be mimicked. Um, so these ones are getting more comfortable. These uh, female-looking ones, they come up to you. They smell you. And they start... <laughs> Pecking at your necks, looking for insects, and they start inspecting all of you very closely. Like how there's only females around the other three, and it's just like Jack, like slapping hands away. <laughs> Get the fuck off. There's probably a, a psychedelic smoke fill in the area right now. Ah. Yeah, this one's you know, like rolling you know around. <laughs> curious about what it would do to this civilization. I'll, sh I'll, I'll show them how to make a. Uh, Arbitrary apps with a with some white twine, some stones. Yes, it. you give them basic survival ax uh, early ax <laughs> recipe unlocked. <laughs> I, I I unlock their access to. They stone have apps. they have bone and sticks nearby. Oh, is there? Yeah. Are, are these stones not uh, here? Oh yeah, those are some rocks. Yeah, there's rocks all. Yeah, I'll, I'll walk over to these stones, grab them, grab. Them. Uh, strips from these twigs into uh, like small threads and to make, make it make some twine. All right, yeah, grab my cane uh, piece back. Uh, Stone nothing to make a sharp edge. They all were pretty hostile and uh, off put by you guys when you randomly appeared, but they seem to be more intrigued than anything. And as you have not been hostile, they seem to not be hostile either. I'm pretty sure Percy's would know how to make a. Uh, at the very least, a stone, a stone axe. Of course. I look at my wrist device and see where, where is where direction is the the thing. Your wrist device is pointing into this rock wall. That direction. Oh. 
Well, we need to go above the rock wall, maybe. Question: Would uh, would Johnny's um, learn language be able to learn Ugas and Boogas? They're not speaking; they're just grunting. Uh, so you can't decide for grunts. Grunts. <laughs> so in the psychedelic flame, one of you. I'll let you guys decide. Gains a cipher. As you see, a strange eagle-like e vision. And one of you is granted this cipher. I already First have the extra one, so whoever wants it, you two then. Whoever does it would probably be the one that scouts ahead. So it would either be speedy person or the one that's stealth, I would think. Uh, I'll take it. All right, Perseus, you see the... A giant psychedelic eagle rise from the fire and fly at you. You have to roll back. You're not sure what's going on. Roll a d6. It, it probably happens as I try to uh, com uh, milk the twine into the stone to make it more durable. Yes. All right. Whenever you activate this, it'll work for four hours. And it grants you the ability to see ten times as far with your eagle eye. All right. There you go. Awesome. These females near the three of you, they start doing what can only be described in modern terms as a twerk. <laughs> as they vertically shake their posteriors up and down. Oh, no. <laughs> Whichever one seems like the stronger male, stronger male person, uh, I'll give the uh, axe, stone axe to. I'm all for hanging out the groupies, but I think we do have uh, something to get to. What's the timer say on our wrist device? You've been here for probably about 40, 15 minutes, so you've got 11 hours and 45 minutes left. This person has, has finished making a stone axe in 15 minutes. I will put stone axe on this one. Which one? Yeah. Yeah, this one gotcha. He wields uh, it, he wields it, uh, very unsafely. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll point at the stone axe, uh, I'll point <laughs> to my stone, my regular axe. I'll grab one. I'll grab some, I'll grab some thicker uh, twigs and uh, chop it. Try to try to show that it chops some wood. All right. Yeah. Very First good. came the axe. Then came axe safety. Should <laughs> 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 teach him that it, it cuts wood, not people. Oh, Johnny has a flower necklace. Just gonna put it around her neck. She's gonna pull him into a corner. <laughs> You give her a necklace? Yeah, it's a flower necklace, like, you know, those, those hippie ones. And it, you know, you can now be pronounced as Johnny and Cave Woman. Yes, she places her arms around you. She jumps on your side and uh, holds you closely as you have to walk around with this thing on you. Hey, you Johnny! Want to be married, a uh, Cave Woman. Looks like you have a problem. You need me to take care of it? Probably more like he has pride now. I think he's yes. married her. That is a problem. We do not have time for this. There's always time for love. All right. As you're all standing there, GM Intrusion. Group GM Intrusion. Everyone gets one XP. Uh, turn on us. You hear strange noises up above. Uh-oh. It's aliens. Ah, uh, I think it's dinosaurs. It's space at work. Found us. Or it's time to learn. With our luck. <laughs> oh. Damn, it really is. <laughs> Rushing to the edge, cocking their weapons. More than you can count. Surrounded on all sides, you see the Nazi uniforms and their MP5 looking weapons. They completely surround you all. And they fire down. I, I, one of them yells, The uh, early humanoids near you are confused looking up just as the bullets strike into them. Explosions of blood all around you. Chaos as you're just getting caught in the middle of an ambush. Gun down. Blood is flying everywhere. Everyone roll initiative. My wife. God damn. They're committing genocide two million years <laughs> in the future. Blood splatters on all of your faces as these early humanoids are getting shot and ripped apart. I was just gonna say, as Oda Nobunaga 
I mean, it's clear that this species isn't long for this world anyway. It's fine. Percy says that he would know, know the history of uh, Hitler, but yet he realizes that Hitler's a terrible person. My people would never ally with this Hitler. Oop, motorcycle Although falls down. All right, no. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> um, oh my God, it's <laughs> Okay, Oda, you react first. You're getting caught in a massacre as they're just like falling over going limp, blood is flying all over your armor and your faces, and the bullets are- I guess the first thing I do is reach for my pistol, and I shoot this one. <laughs> you reach a- <laughs> Okay, go ahead. That's all I can really do from here, but... Uh, you know, I aim at him with the pistol. Oh God! You fire up, bow! Explosion! Uh, your ears ri ring from the uh, already. It's already loud as fuck. But you shoot up. It sparks against like maybe like seventy feet up against the cave wall. But it's about a hundred feet up. So Johnny, she's laying down in front of you, covered in blood. Oh my God! Flower necklace covered in blood. <laughs> Johnny's gonna scream at them, and uh. He's just gonna like, try to hide flat or against the wall, like if I can overhang or something to hide under. Mm -hmm. As he's gonna start strumming his guitar, um, a defensive song to his allies within short range. The Nazis. They continue to fire down and massacre the humanoids near you. Um, all three of you are gonna have to dodge bullets, so all three of you make defense rolls. Uh, Jack. You're kind of on your own, so you're until you do something, um, you're kind of out of this. Ooh, no good. I do not dodge bullets. <laughs> okay, oh. so, so one of the one of the humanoids do what? Uh, it is ease because I'm uh, singing my thing. Very good. But a one is a one. Yeah. yeah. A one is a one is a one is a one. <laughs> oh my god. I bet, uh... Versus might actually die, die here, guys. I forgot that he's still wounded from last time. Oh. We got ambushed in a pit by Nazis, and that was it. All right. Um, Johnny was trying to avoid us with a caveman. Perseus, are you wearing armor? Uh, no, I just have my... Uh, I, I actually, I wouldn't even have my shield equipped at the moment. I'm just... You get riddled into three damage points to you. Um, Oda, you take three... Are you wearing your armor? I am. You're you're nicked for one damage from the bullets as this humanoid <laughs> falls on top of you, forcing you to go prone underneath its body as it's bloody all over you. Uh, Perseus, you're caught off guard as well as you're uh, slipping around in the blood and uh, f realizing that you're still wounded from Philadelphia. Uh, Johnny, you are close enough to the cave wall where the bullets kind of ricochet around you, but they're sparking all over, and you can hear the screams of pain of them getting shot. And even your companions are starting to get shot now, too. Jack is on the other side. Uh, Perseus, your turn. Uh, so is it a free action to heal, or what is it? It's your action. So, yeah, your, your, first, your first rest is one action. Yeah, then I will have, I have to use my uh, action heal because I have zero in might and two in speed. Oh, very good. So All right, so one d six plus one, or is it is it do is it plus two when you're not in combat? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, one d six plus one. All right, so you can put five into might, or you could do split it into your speed and your might if you want to. All right, Jack the Ripper. You're all these weird humanoids you have been uh, hanging out with for the past 15 or uh, 30 minutes is uh, have been shot. They're dying. Their companions are like under their bodies and running away and getting shot at, getting hit. Uh, what do you do? They don't seem to have noticed you so far. Is there open space behind this waterfall? Uh, yes. You can you can go straight through like so. I'm going to duck behind it and wait. They're going to have to come down. I'm just going to get behind this. Sure. You hide yeah. even more behind the waterfall, rushing down in front of you. Well, As you hear, the, you can see the uh, muzzle blasts behind the water going down and hear the screams. 
Oda. Realizing the tactical situation, Oda plays dead. Very good. <laughs> um, Until I can get a time to strike, because this is not going well. Jo Johnny. <laughs> Seeing Oda do that, Johnny will. <laughs> No, I'm hit and just fall down to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> the Nazis continue to fire, <laughs> shooting uh, around you and into the into the bodies as those humanoids are for real dead, not playing dead. Oh my god! They continue to fire. Some even randomly splattering and shooting into the water, and they seize fire. Ik tak tang shulka. You hear a bunch of moving about. Tonk tonk, schnell! You hear the motor vehicles moving away, but you hear some moving closer. Uh, during this time, I would have tried to get closer to the entrance with my speed. This is my hiding spot. That's an ambush up. Johnny's gonna crawl over to his wife, quote unquote, and uh, his. Wipe his hand on the side of her face. To mourn his five second marriage. <laughs> yeah, fuck. Yeah, it would have actually. Sliding down the steep incline, down into the cavern, these uh, not as as make the, their way. As soon as the first one comes in range, I'm going to make an attack roll. This one is standing up, looking over down. Ida, is in about a waterfall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this one starts walking into the waterfall, and these two start oh. walking around. He looks, he goes under, water rushing, he looks around. Ah, beautiful! Can I grapple him? Yeah, go ahead and make And it. like, hold my hand over his mouth. Speed or might, as the other two are making their way a lot away, looking up and around, looking at the... Rushing. I'm not gonna lie, Jack the Ripper grabbing right? you under a waterfall would not be. Hold on a minute. Oh, you wait, can oh. you can use one have... experience point to re-roll any roll in the game. Are you serious? Damn. Even um, even for someone else, sorry, as, he, as he, as well, he. He said he, he said he would spend the next few points. Oh, okay. Very good. About roll higher than a freaking two. <laughs> Three. <laughs> No. Nope. Damn you. <laughs> Sorry. Literally. Um, um, effort. What does effort do? Uh, it reduces the uh, the difficulty of the roll by one. So. So if I were to do that twice, would that be enough? Well, you're you have an effort of one, don't you? You can only do it to a max of your effort level. I have an effort of two. Ah, uh, yeah, you could. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll do that. So, do you have a? Sp you're using speed? Yeah. What's You have a speed edge? I have a speed edge of one. Okay, so that would make your first one, too. So it would take you four speed if you're trying to make it go down twice. Okay. All right, you take four speed away. As you, tell me how you grapple this Nazi completely. As he's, like, admiring the view behind this beautiful, majestic waterfall, Perseus would just see, like, Jack slink from the shadows and, like, grab a... Uh, one arm around his neck and one arm like cupping his mouth to keep him quiet oh. like just a tight ass choke hold. punching him in the gut to make him lose his breath and dragging him to the ground as he does that uh perseus will would, would, would take his sword and try to stab don't him. stab me you fool no not, not don't worry about something you're something the one you're currently strangling He'll he'll die in a minute. Leave me alone. Fine, fine. You're I'll gonna just, stab I'll, me. Fine, fine. I'll just go take care of the one up the hill as Jack I head out the waterfall. His, uh, kills Hold on. We might be able to do this quietly. We don't want to alert the two at the bottom. We're not going to. I'm going to try to get the. Uh, how should I take care of that one then? As I peek my head out. Let's wait to see what the other two do. This one comes up, looks at, looks at Johnny, kicks him. Okay. This one walks up, shoots the, shoots this one again, just to make sure. Puts his gun over Johnny's head. As he comes closer, I 
stand up, whirling with the katana. I strike. You know what's funny? I actually forgot you were there. Good. Even better. I'm surprised. Yeah. No, definitely. You come up <laughs> underneath the body, <laughs> fucking blood all over your face. <laughs> Ah! Holy sh right he shits himself on the spot. The samurai scream. Oh, he's doing that. God, he's gonna... the katana. Yeah, it's a hit. Man, well, you can you can kill him for sure. Tell me how you kill him with your the katana. Like he's like about to, you know, he's pointing down at Johnny, and the and the katana just goes through the chest. Ah! Oh, he this, leans Johnny. forward onto it, like eyes wide. Ah! And Johnny, you are. Yeah, he's grabs his heart, and then I that? scream. <laughs> Bowie knife and he just like stabs this guy like in the ankle. Oh my god! Yeah, go ahead. All right, you stab into his ankle. He uh, ah! he yells up as he starts um, kicking his leg, and he realizing his companion is impaled on a sword as uh, Oda is screaming. This one up here is realizing what's happened, what's happening, and he's uh, he's deciding what to do. Um, Perseus, what Perseus are you doing? Will, uh, Perseus will uh, make a dash for it. With his incredible speed, and point the gun at the back of his skull. He's uh, judging the situation down by the fire, and then he realizes uh, he has a gun behind him. Uh, if, if if the Nazi turns turns back to look at him, he'll gesture for his gun and, and point to the ground, trying to uh, drop his weapons. He slowly turns around and tries to do a disarm and fight you. Make a defense roll. <laughs> he does the cartwheel spin around, trying to. Oh, no good. You grab him, and you have the gun in his face. He puts his hands up, dropping his whip. I'll kick it, I'll kick it into the cave. The MP5. Maybe a shot goes off randomly, almost hitting Jack. No, it's fine. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> All Why right. am I always getting shot at? <laughs> All right, this one is... Uh, so, Oda and Johnny... Uh, Jack, well, hang on. Back to Jack, under the waterfall. You're on top of this one. You've got him completely grappled. What are you doing? You can just um, kill him outright if you to, want to. Yeah, I'm just going to snap his neck. <laughs> just, like, release his mouth so he gets a quick scream and just... Yep. Yep. You hear the crack, and then he's motionless under the waterfall. All you can hear is the... Water rushing. Um, and, then, uh, and you can also hear oh, oh this one jumping up and down. Ah! Nine ankle! Nine ankle! Uh, I what are you dash doing? Dash out and pick up the MP5. Uh, it's too much. Johnny okay. and Oda, what are you doing? As this one is about to bring his gun down and fire at you two, because he has a Bowie knife in his ankle. <laughs> uh, to, to trip him? Alright, yeah, go ahead. Ah, boom on his ass bleeding out of the boot oda you can you're kind of like sitting up right now so you can do whatever you want oh yeah so well can i reach him with the katana yeah all right well i'll give him a good slash then go ahead it were the sword whirls up ahead flashing oh. and then coming down i imagine from this angle you cut off like his leg that was already yeah, stabbed yeah let's go for it yes yeah, so, so it's totally down. dismembered then i stab then i stab down as i help myself up with the sword point <laughs> just ah. very good he's just he's fucked he's dead final screams of oh, pain and oh. shock oh and you know what does he have a gun? Yes. A bigger gun. Uh, um, yeah, the the MP5 looking. Does he have extra the, the, ammo on his person? It's not. It's not an MP5. What is that Nazi gun? Uh, MP40. MP40. Right? You're probably. Yep. You're right. MP40. MP40. Those are all MP40s. And yeah, so you got one here, one here. He's dead. This one is still alive. What are you doing to Perseus, real quick? So you said. You said I'm already grabbing him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His eyes are wide. He dropped his gun. His hands are up. You've got him right in front of you. All right. Uh, I, I will go ahead and... Nine! Nine! I will go ahead and try to restrain him. I start, start dragging him uh, with me to the, the rest of the group. Reaction, no combat. We'll say another 15 minutes or so has gone by. What are you all doing? Um, you might see some of the humanoids twitching. You might hear a few grunts, but most of them are motionless, bleeding out. Uh, all of the Nazis here, except for the one that Perseus is bringing back. As you bring him down, he looks in horror as this guy's leg is cut off. This one's leaning over, impaled. Doesn't know where the other Shiny. one is. 
Percy's going to look around. I was just through his body for magazines. <laughs> and Percy's going to look around, Tony. Uh, you're able to understand. You can roll a D. You, if you're okay, hang on real quick. Uh, if you're picking up the magazines from each of, so there's four of them. You can roll a D4 on each of the bodies, and that's how many magazines. Because they are wearing like the vest pouches, and they've got like stuff on. Yeah, All right, I'll search these two right here. Okay, cool. Uh, and I'll be, right, I'll be right back. Jack with the MP40, just imagine. <laughs> Magazine. We should, yeah. um, we should get their clothes off them and wash them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, actually. <laughs> this, this one's missing at play. What happened to your pant leg? <laughs> I think funny. I have that skill. Disguise. You have gun skill? No, not gun skill. But I can disguise myself. Oh, yeah. We could have just a man on the inside to let us in sneakily. I don't. We don't really know. We have an identity. We have a Nazi. We can hide in the car. Like, yeah. Yeah, family. I can. I can dress as a Nazi. Oh God. Oh, oh God. Uh, sorry, there's a cat jumping on my keyboard. Uh, the entire <laughs> table. Just got Let's lock this into place. It was locked. Oh God. Okay. The oh, cat, the cat a little bit more. Cat jumped across the keyboard and uh, started going crazy. We keep reloading the table. Sorry, and I think that's it right there. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I mean, we, we we have a Nazi that we can threaten. That we can uh, pretty much threaten to tell oh, us yeah. everything we have, everything he knows. We could just take the rest of the uniforms. That one could be the intact one. He can be whoever wants to be the spokesperson. The rest also just wore the uh, damaged clothing. Oh, oh <laughs> and Jackal, yeah. Jackal walked behind the waterfall. This oh, one's not damaged as he just drags it out. <laughs> okay. this one. Two intact uniforms. This guy just cut it in half. <laughs> I'm trying to, you can, you're able to speak their language. I'll let, you, can, you can take his uniform. You killed my wife, he says in German to that guy. Uh, Turbo's still not here. Oh, I know. <laughs> let's, not, let's not kill him yet. We need to. We need to figure out what he knows. I like how you assume when I walk over, he's about to die. After all, it won't be it won't, it won't be do us any good if we have a dead Nazi and no clue about where they're located. At. So Johnny, to, that's a, get him to tell us where Time Hitler is. When and where? Nine and don't kill him. Nine and kill him. What's he saying? Sprechen. Nine times. What's he saying? No die, no kill. Um, he'll say in German. I don't feel like translating at the moment. Um, <laughs> <laughs> where are? What are you doing here? What's your game? I'm just following orders. Uh, we know. I've heard that one before. <laughs> what is your goal here? To recover the life, the green stone, and eliminate hostiles. Ah, they don't have the stone yet, he'll say in English to his companions. Not to, not us. Another unit. No, we were here. Take your clothes off. I'm not like that. Yes. I point the machine gun to him. <laughs> huh. Is he not cooperating? I'm really not like that. I don't approve. <laughs> Take him off. He slowly takes off his... Wife on you will live the apes. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, he kicked him, Perseus. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> he takes his helmet off. He takes his vest off, kicks his boots off. He's just rubbing down to his undies, and then he stops. This feels familiar somehow. Did it, this happen? Do we need him for anything else? Th th uh, yeah, this is the campaign. Where's, Take your clothes off. Where is the, where is the, other, where is the other unit at? Base camp, to the, to the vest. Are you lying? As I, uh... Cock the gun. Toss him in the water. Let's go. Done. Just wait, 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 wait. Speak or die. The, 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 a unit at base camp. They recovered the stone. Mm -hmm. I can take you to the stone. Mm -hmm. The stone is to the west. I know where the camp is. I can take you there. Don't kill me. Please give me some boots. At least. Uh, I think the, ju the, ju the jungles are dangerous. There's creatures out there. <laughs> I used the katana and I... Ah! His token turns red with blood. 
kick his body into the water. The water yeah. slowly turns red and starts to spread away from him as his body floats face down. Underwear up. As he gets taken with the current and <laughs> oh goes down into the water. <laughs> These, all these uniforms are our sizes, like apparently, like how every other piece of uniform has been practically. You there, soldier. Your uniform is poorly fitting. Why is your uniform so tight, soldier? I read out of largest when I when I enlisted. Hey guys, tell me if I do this correctly. Clacks his boots together, raises his arm. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> no, 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 no. It's before to your see. time. Exactly. Yeah. You're supposed to say hi. Call Hitler after you do that. Might want to watch oh, where you do that. Wrong group sees you do it. Yeah. Get in a bit of trouble. As uh, as these three are walking away, Johnny, you hear a gurgling behind you. It's his wife. <laughs> the hand <laughs> reaching up. The hand reaches up. This this Nazi body is kind of like. On top of your wife, Blah, lean forward from the gut wound from the katana. He'll kick the body off. Um, do they have like the little IP, AK, the you know the medical kits on them? This one actually happens to. Oh, well, he's not a soldier. He doesn't really know about medicine, but he'll uh, know something about that, I guess, and he'll uh, check her again. I never even got your name. All right, go ahead and make a I'll, an, an intelligence intelligence roll. Uncle. Bunga. All right, I have a 19 intellect. I'm sure, he figures something out. All right, so you uh, you see the 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 wounds from the gunshots. You start applying pressure. You take out the syringe and you uh, you shoot her with it, and she seems to have a little life in her eyes. And then she falls asleep, but not a not a dead sleep, a nice recovering sleep. As she's in a recovering coma. <laughs> As you have like the, the cl the cloth, from the pouch covering the the wounds, and you've gave her a shot, so she has a chance of living now for sure. So uh, I found these uh medical kit on the Nazi here on this uh, soldier here. Now I don't know if y'all are aware, but uh, some of them like to use quite a bit of uh, a special drug that. We'll keep it going for a few, few days in a row. Bye. More drugs for the stash. They used to make similar back in my day. I forget what it was, though. The uh, the deadly vapors in the the caves that they'd go in and inhale or something. Opium. Did we find the keys oh, yeah. amongst one of these guys? The keys to the truck. Um, Jack's the, the yeah the in, in the in, no they're in the pants they're in the pants you're wearing, Jack. Oh God! Uh, you search your pants and you hear a jingle. Yes. Turns out to get the keys are actually in that guy's underwear. God. I start up the great metal beast. Uh, you know, I'm actually gonna check the uh, chunk of the uh, jeep, see if there's anything of value in it. The early human woman is in and out of consciousness as Johnny lays her in the truck bed, presumably. Unlike that one jeep, there's no mounted machine gun, but there are boxes of um hands are faust they're... <laughs> yeah. so they're it's mostly like mres there's a 1d4 more mp40 clips and there's also a uh, stack like a wound stack of dynamite right. Ow. an mre and he's gonna crack quite open and start eating yeah I'll, it's I'll, not I'll the most an mre as well it it we it fills you up. Day. It doesn't it doesn't taste uh, good, but three fills. more clips of. Uh, That's true. You guys haven't eaten this entire campaign. I don't think. Like, <laughs> Keep going. Yeah, yeah. You're you're not wrong. Yeah, uh, we, we all we all stop and eat for a bit. Are we taking a rest? Your rests have reset. Not mine. I don't eat it now. For, well, uh, Chris, uh, Perseus, Perseus uses yeah. one action. So if you guys take yeah. ten, the rest of you have reset. So uh, you guys can use an action in ten minutes if you want to take two recovery rolls. It's up to you. But I don't know how damaged is everyone. <laughs> I have zero might. Yeah, we might I, want to do that because I'm at yeah. I'm at five five one. <laughs> I'm at zero four four. All right, so here's here's what's happening. You guys are in the jeep. You're eating the MREs. That'll be like your action. Boom. That's your first recovery roll, other than Perseus. And then you guys are spending another ten minutes just hanging out on the jeep. The flora is strange. It's foreign to all of you. It, yes, it's Central African, but it's also 2.3 million years. It's like really tall, really weird looking grass. And you can all make your recovery rolls before I continue. Are, are we getting the extra one from... Yeah. Uh, Johnny does... He should have a driving skill because he's from the fucking 60s. Uh, Alright. <laughs> yeah. He at least understands the concept of driving, I hope. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. like, so, he doesn't have to be a good driver. <laughs> what I'm, what I'm thinking is... Was, oh, sorry, I'm doing trained in driving because... 
There's no roads here. Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> this is all off-road driving, so it's a bit trickier than just driving down the street. Okay, so, GM Intrusion, Johnny, you get an experience point. And another to give to someone. When suddenly... Doof. 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 Uh, oh shit, start the car. A strange the reptilian creature. Uh, ah, that's a herbivore. It comes yes, up. But... It looks at you all right in front as it's starting to Here's make its way down. Perhaps it's coming for water. It extends its hand up, uh, its head, sniffing the MREs that Johnny has. It sees Jack come around. It turns its head, blinking its eye at you. It's a massive, um, reptilian looking, but also perhaps some kind of mammal. Is this a dragon? I'm going to hold out some chocolate to it. It, it rears its head. It it's, keeps its body painted uh, towards the truck the jeep but its head rears towards you like some kind of giraffe or something and it sniffs the chocolate and it starts eating and munching it, wrapper and all i'm gonna I'm gonna just like pat its head is that the panzer chocolate the panzer chocolate its eyes widen we don't have time for this i want to climb up i want to get on it we don't have time for this <laughs> Johnny, you should give it some like you should give it some of those mushrooms. It starts. It was munching slowly, but now it's munching quickly. Well, he just gave it meth, so I mean, we L should go. licking its lips. <laughs> I, I just I just toss a it, few MREs out the back. It, I'm like go go go. It puts its head down on the MREs and like sniffs them all. Is like is this more of that? And it starts devouring them all, packages and everything. Let's go, Jack. <laughs> Ooh, I want to ride it. <laughs> All right, Jack, you, gonna... you jump in the passenger seat as Johnny starts driving through the Central African prehistoric jungle. <laughs> so what happens when you meth up a dinosaur? <laughs> we learn today. So you drive away from the waterfall chasm area. You're driving through the really tall trees and you're looking down at your wrist devices. They are indeed pointing west, the direction you're going. You can see trails, <clears throat> double sets of tracks for jeeps, single tracks for motorcycles. They're going through the the trees and the, the jungle. They're making their way further west. As you're driving along, you see a motorcycle turned on its side and a bit of blood. I'll pull over quickly. Mm, yes. You pull over. You drive past it, I presume, and then stop. And then back behind you. Yeah, it just reverses a bit. A little blood on a, on a motorcycle turned on its side. Oh, a lot of blood, actually. And you may or may not see dents in the grass drawn away, like tracks leading like away. Whatever we're going to do, you should be quick. Jack will quickly hop out to inspect it. Uh, you see the saddlebags uh, falling out. A few more MREs. Maybe another medic pouch. Still a little smoke coming from the water and the oil mixing and a little steam rising up. And there's blood all over the seat. And in the grass leading away. I don't see any tracks or anything. Uh, you see like a trail of dragging. Like there's a path you could follow for sure. Gonna grab the MRE and just hop back in the truck. Yeah, he fucked up. He crashed. Something got him. Let's go. You continue driving. <laughs> Leaving that scene far behind. Oda and Perseus, are you like laying down flat in the back seat? Yep. Only seeing yep. like the treetops above you and stuff in the sun? Okay. I'm laying flat on my back, clutching the MP40, ready to spring up and just... Uh, Tommy gun! Rattle him, boys! <laughs> uh, Perseus, uh, Perseus isn't off uh, flat right now. He's uh, more resting at... Uh, with his back against the uh, kind of in a sitting position until he see unless he sees uh, people on the horizon. We can chill until we all right. see all of uh, all of you here, kind of like a uh, <laughs> like a moaning, uh, a whimpering in the uh, in the recovering sleep. Uh, Johnny, you're pretty focused on driving. Jack, you're the first one to notice something in between the trees on either and to your right as you're in the passenger seat looking. Johnny, you see like some reptilian forms like running like just as fast, or maybe a little slower like in the distance trying to keep up and heading towards you i'll go ahead and use my eagle eye gonna set my mp40 up against the back seat and steady myself getting ready to shoot these things uh johnny you look to your left while you're driving and you just catch a glimpse of something running behind the trees and then it's wagging behind as they're as they're moving like towards you and converging on you as okay. more and more of them are coming through the jungle question though <laughs> are these jurassic park 
velociraptor size or are these real life velociraptor size? Well, they're medium, so like six to ten feet. Okay, it's like Utah raptors. Yeah, because velociraptors are actually like a foot tall. The, yeah, these are just the D and D models with the stats. <laughs> no, fuck the guns! I'm gonna reach into the back seat and get the dynamite. Oh my okay, god! The, the, the dynamite's be, uh, between me and Oda. Right you now. you reach back and you you put your hand on Oda's armor and Perseus just reaching back there. <laughs> Give me the dynamite, quick! Rah, rah. You can hear the screeching and the the, tr the grass like getting pushed down as they're running super fast, and they start to break out right behind the truck. If uh, Oda or Perseus, you lift you lift your head up, you can see just uh, half a dozen or more little uh, six to ten foot tall and long reptilians. They they smaller than that other one that came up, and they look they have a lot of teeth. They look like they eat meat, so they're coming. Give Jackie a dynamite. I'll, I'll open fire as I. Oh. Fire with my, uh, gun. You raise up, yeah. make your attack roll. You raise up and you fire, and it mostly just like goes down into the ground around them up to the trees. You're shooting wildly. Hey Johnny, lighter. <laughs> Johnny hands the lighter. You is it uh, is it like a Zippo, like a flip out? Yeah. All right, very good. All right, the uh, the He's tip the yet. the string coming off the wound stack of dynamite, you. It starts to spark, and it's getting shorter and shorter and shorter. At the last second, he's going to throw it, like, right towards the middle. Go ahead and make a, a speed ranged attack roll as you throw that dynamite into the velociraptors following behind in the junk. Ooh! The dynamite goes down. A few of them stop and go to the dynamite. One of them picks it up in its mouth, and they're, like, fighting over it. And then suddenly, boom! <laughs> Blood and scales and reptilian bits as they scatter and are blown apart you've got one straggler though as you continue to drive away from that just massive explosion uh flame dust guts trees falling in you got one behind you how, how, do, how do you deal with it Shoot it. i'll sling the mp40 and use my spear i stab it i aim for the mouth Oh, God. And it jumps alongside your spear thrust, landing its back legs into the trunk as the jeep kind of rears back a bit, slowing your momentum as it reaches down to bite you. Uh -huh. Defense roll. That's no good. All right, so it's a combination of the claws and the... So it comes down, scratches you, bites at you. Only one damage because of your armor as the claws mostly scratch against your armor and make a, na a nasty thing. You're going to have to polish that out. And it uh, <laughs> snaps at you. And yeah, one point, one point to you. Uh, the, jeep, the jeep continues on as there's a velociraptor snapping at Oda right next to him as his spear is extended out beyond them and right next to you perseus how thick is a lost record's neck uh, yeah, i don't know well, what are you what are you trying to do maybe like human sized i'm gonna, I'm gonna squeeze his neck and just toss him out, out the jeep all right how do you dispose of this velociraptor that just slashed and bit at oda as i uh, pick him up uh, off of oda i'm going to think about it for a moment i'm going to, I'm going to toss him underneath the front tires if i can like a suplex where you like throw your body weight back and throw him over yeah. And then, boom, little bump as you go over the the Velociraptor. And you look back and you see its twisted corpse kind of motionless, dead. Johnny, you're familiar with a fuel gauge. Yeah. It takes, it takes you an hour of driving. And at this point, I don't know if they had, like, the light that comes on when it's empty back then, but it is, like, right down on the E. As you guys break out of the jungle into the savanna. Let me see if there's anything to that might be... What is fuel, actually? Well, we just wouldn't know what fuel, what gasoline is. Uh, as you, 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 years, you in a million years, most of this stuff will be fuel. See, <laughs> like gestures to the wilderness around you. Fuel is all around us. You drive out of the jungle and you, you stop, and it's the very, really tall savanna grasses, spreading as far as uh, you can see. And you're kind of, as you look on your right and your left, you're on the edge of this jungle that's spreading out that you just came out of. Up in the sky. You all can see strange looking birds, perhaps. Well, does anyone see anything other than grass and the strange birds? Let me, let me try to straighten my eyes a bit as I activate eagles, eagle's eye. In the distance, you see massive reptilians, huge necks. They're walking through the savannas together. You can well, see with activity. extremely great detail these dinosaurs in the distance. <laughs> At the very, very edge, you strain to see this, uh, Perseus. 
as you're looking out to the west where your wrist devices are, but you swear you see one of those red flags with the black X's crossing each other, the Nazi flags. The rest of you, all you can see is like tall grass and the occasional like bird in the distance. Perseus is squinting and looking kind of weird into the into the uh, savannah. Would I be able to tell how far, how far we travel it might be? Probably about 15, uh, 15, 20 minutes. If we saw any, uh, whatever fuel is, it looks like it's, I, I can see it. It's about 15, 20 minutes that way, as I point in its direction. Well, we'll see how far we get. You start driving that direction? He's going to slow down a little bit. Okay. I'm trying to conserve some fuel. You make your way, yeah. avoiding the dinosaurs? Well, I mean, maybe drive by the big ones if they don't seem hostile. They, um, they are walking. They have, like, a purpose. They're moving past you as you drive past them. They, uh, they may look, but they don't bother you. Beep the horn at them. A few of them make <laughs> rumbling grunts. So about 15 minutes, you start to hear a puttering in the engine, Johnny. <laughs> Eventually, it completely stops, and it won't go any further. As you're all stuck in the savannah. On foot, you're about 10, 20 minutes away. We still have 10 to 20 minutes to get there. What else do I see about the, uh, this campsite that I see? You see that it's not like it should be. There's blood all over the place. Looking in the distance, Perseus, you see, like, an abandoned camp. There's, like, a really tall antenna-looking thing sticking tall above everything. There's a Nazi flag, and then there's several tents kind of, like, blowing in the wind, scattered. Might be able to see a motorcycle. The grasses are really tall, though. So you just see the tallest outlines of things. Right. It looks like this place might be abandoned. Just to keep our let's keep our guards up. So it's a like ten minute walk away to the camp. Perseus is the only one who can see it. Seems abandoned for the most part. Yeah. What are you guys doing? Although it looks abandoned, we should definitely still be on guard. Well, nothing else around. I I don't see why we wouldn't go check it out. You but hear in the distance yeah. the rumbling of the throats of dinosaur creatures. Does our um, bracelets point this direction? Yes, they're pointing actually like right towards the camp. Um. We can leave her here and see if the, uh, or unless you don't feel safe leaving her, leaving her here, but we can see if this, uh, campsite has this fuel that, that you mentioned. Well, if it's abandoned, uh, I'll, I'll carry her. I do see a, uh, a two-wheeled vehicle. I'm not quite sure what those are called. All right. Johnny carries the woman. Yes. Nazi Jack, Oda, and Perseus. You start walking. You walk through the tall savanna grasses in the distance Percy's you hear movement first will keep his head on us wheel to make sure nothing ambushes us you hear movement and you hear the skittering and the rumbling of dinosaurs but you're able to walk to the camp with no encounter as you arrive you may walk around and inspect the first thing you notice is there's blood everywhere no actual bodies uh, things have been bumped into. It doesn't look like they've been searched or scavenged through. It just looks like they've been accidentally bumped and torn apart. Does per our bracelet still point in here? So as you get to the camp, it continues to point west. It is not, Are in sure? fact, it is not, in fact, in this area. Wait, so uh, am, I, question, am I able to control the zoom, or it is just is it just constant? You can turn it on and off, like blink your <laughs> eyes or something. I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I try to look through these crates. I can't. I can't you I you can't start to develop a massive headache from the <laughs> the crazy focus. All right, inside the tents, you see a, a table with a map. It's got all kinds of weird scientific graphs on it. It looks like it might be of the area. It's all in German. There's sleeping bags. There's tables. There's uh, a cooking station here, but like the the pots and stuff are all tossed over. MRE scattered. There is at least one, maybe two fuel containers. Just scattered equipment. Uh, this tall thing looks like some kind of antenna. As it seems to be like rotating at the top and it's like 20, 30 feet tall. It's the tallest thing here. And there's electronic parts, tools, everything scattered about. Are these like crates and stuff? Yes, they are. I'll uh, check out what's inside of them. Inside of them, you just find components, electrical components. They they make no sense to you with your ancient Greek knowledge, and um, just... everything else I described is kind of in the tents. And like, if the poles are knocked down, then you have to lift up the tarp to see what's inside. Perseus, uh, uh, perhaps you should climb up the the tower there, see if you can see anything. Uh, very well. Uh, I, I I found two containers that say fuel on them. 
Uh, I'm not you can read that? That's, that's true. That's true. I, I, I found containers of liquid in them. I don't know what they say. It smells horrible. You should drink it. it actually, smells good. Yeah, no. <laughs> the smell gets me a bit. This I, I tried sniffing it. Curious about what it was. This it, it made me a bit lightheaded. Like, <laughs> oh, sounds like my cut. No. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, he uses one tank of gas for the jeep, and then one tank for himself. He's gonna carry it with him, huffing, <laughs> huffing the rest of the the campaign. First, we'll actually. Do it. Uh, yeah. Johnny suggested. It's like 30 feet tall, so go ahead and make me a speed agility climbing check. I used some effort. Okay, you <laughs> easily... There's there's all these handholds on this device to get your way to the top, and then you hold on the skinny part, and then there's like the rotating thing at the top, and you've got a 360 view of the savannah. As you look back to the east, you see the jungle spreading out north to south. As you look to the west, you see the savanna continue on. Maybe you see water, but what stands out to you is this really tall, uh, forget what they're called, like the Badlands plateau ridges that shoot up randomly, like the Mesa. rocks. Mesa, yeah, 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 like a mesa just shooting up. There's one of those that's really tall, and it seems to be like a central topographical, geographical feature that you can see on the west before you get to the coast at the end of the savanna. Everyone else, you hear a snap in the grass in the distance. You hear the rumbling of the, uh, the dinosaurs. Perhaps they're coming back. And you see the similar trails of bodies being dragged away from this camp. As if the same thing that happened with the motorcycle back then happened here on a grander scale. Just to make this quick. You think you can see one or two uh, jeeps moving towards that mesa. You also can see it just scattered out in all directions. You can see many of those flying creatures. Uh, see where uh, they might be situated at. Let's get out of here. All right. Also, do I see? Do I see in the distance what might what is currently trying to approach the? Uh, Camp or is it like how yes, you as you look down, you see the GM intrusion I'm about to do on Oda. <laughs> GM intrusion rising up from the grass, an Allosaurus it bites at you. Defense roll. No, as you look down from the top of the tower, Perseus, yeah. it's not enough, it bites you for four damage. Actually, two because of your armor. Everyone roll initiative for this. Round one, you all can react before the dinosaurs. Jungle. So, Johnny, as you're walking Spice towards enough. these containers, they say, Craft stuff, which apparently means fuel. This is where I would have put the two, two mats. Actual jerry cans. The handles on the tall, and they they slosh. And the Germans invented the jerry cans during World War II, and uh, everyone else is like, surprised at how they could transport gas so easily. Because he was just literally using tin cans that he had to open up. Those innovative bastards. All right, Johnny, you see the fuel cans. What are you doing? As he hears Oda, he sees the you. Giant you dinosaur. probably hear. You see the thing rise up and snatch down at Oda. He'll uh, lay the lady down and uh, try to find a spot to hide her. <laughs> try to roll her under the tent. Absolutely, you do so. A little movement, a little hiding of the woman, Jack. Perseus, Oda, what are you all doing? Perseus, using his eyes as like a natural scope, will uh, zoom in on the Allosaurus, uh, drawing his rifle and try to fire shot. All right, make that speed roll. With uh, effort. I'll do two effort. That is enough. You shoot the thing, and it is bloodied for sure, as the purple energy from... You're using that rifle? Yeah. Nice. It comes down and explodes out of its back as Oda, you see this dinosaur that bit you. It just got shot by the rifle that Perseus has. Jack is going to rush over to the motorcycle and get it started. I try to pull out the pistol and shoot it. Bam! You shoot it, but the bullet goes into the hide and doesn't damage it enough. As it, on its turn, bites at you again. Another defense roll. And that draws the others. Sure. As even more are coming in. No, we must... Now. As you take another two points of damage, Oda, to your might uh, or speed if your might is zero, and then intellect uh, if your speed is zero, and then it's yes, back. You can go ahead and attack again if you want or move. It can be your turn as it's back to the party. I will move away. Yeah. How far can I? Uh, up to 50 feet, so 10. All right. Um, all right. Uh, Oda runs back in, scrambles back into the the camp. Purchase one now. Well, they'll be announced. There's there's more than just one. Looks like there's 
Three other does heal. Fire another shot at this one before coming down. You shoot down, right in the head. Explosion of brain matter as the thing drops down on its belly, dead. Johnny, I'll start playing an encouraging song for attacking. I'll, uh, slide down this. Looks like there's, a, there's another one of those large ones, and... Uh, two of small ones from earlier. You have to rev the handle and kick this thing as you vroom, you got it started. Is it a, does it have a sidecar on? Or is it just a motorcycle? It's just a single. It has a, it has a seat on the back though. He's gonna ride around and yell for Perseus to get on. All right, you spin around. The dinosaurs continue to move in. Perseus will get on. All right, Perseus gets on the back of the motorcycle. And then he'll, uh, if he has a good shot at this one, he'll take a shot. You get on the back of the motorcycle and you fire at the other Allosaurus coming in. Johnny continues to play your song. You fire, bam, purple blast of energy hitting the savanna grass. Johnny's gonna kind of stand away from this tent here so they don't go through it. Yeah. Come and get me a big uglies. Jack's gonna wheel the motorcycle over here and then take a shot with his MP40 balancing it on the handlebars. Oh my God, like the Terminator or something. You let it rip as you rip into this Allosaurus. Are you doing more than four damage with your bloodthirsty killer? Yep, deal stuff? six damage. Oh my goodness, you instantly bloody it as you rip up the side of this Allosaurus with your MP40 while driving the motorcycle. Very cool. Points for coolness. Thank you. This one, being shot by you, it waddles about 25 feet. And then it tries to like cut you off. But that's all it can do. As these others. This velociraptor is rushing in to the tent, and so is this one. Johnny's going to run forward and try to intercept this one. Got his dagger in his one hand. Uh, that's 20. Let me narrate this before we get to Johnny over there. Uh, so this Allosaurus runs over trying to intercept. You drive like straight through and both of you. Jack rips open with the MP40 on the underbelly of this thing. And then you shoot it like right in the head with your purple rifle at the same time as you guys just like totally kill it and explode its brains as it <laughs> slides to the oh. side as you drive on by it. If you want, I will just have this one go over and start eating it as the major effect. You look, this one's good. Johnny, you move to intercept? Yeah. You can only use your movement to move like that unless you make a speed roll and to attack as well. So he's just moving here. Basically okay. just trying to keep it away from the tent. I will shoot one of them. You shoot this velociraptor. Where do you shoot it and how does it die from it? I just aim very carefully. <laughs> Bam! You shoot it. Falls over on its side. This one runs up, jumping up on Johnny, slashing at him with his tiny little velociraptor claws. Uh, defense roll, Johnny. How do you defend yourself against it as it does not damage you? He's basically got his uh, Bowie knife out, like held it in front of him. And he's like, just kind of like, try to like, push at it, like pushing it away. It's little claws don't even get towards you because little raptor claws the awkward hands its teeth probably clatter against your bowie knife as it is repelled i'll uh, aim, aim up another shot up the lost raptor to just try to attack johnny and i guess fire the shot oh my god Sorry. you guys are just circling the fucking camp <laughs> bam bam blah, blah, blah. All right, so you guys I'm gonna do the same thing. Well, so Bowie knife stabbing down into the Velociraptor. Uh, n n uh, Jack, you're a little bumpy in the savanna here, and your MP40 shoots off wildly. Uh, but Crimson, you do a nice purple shot from that Nazi rifle. Blam! Explosion of guts out of the back of it. Johnny, how do you kill it with the Bowie knife? Ah, uh, just stab it like in the chest. <laughs> totally dead all right combat over free action for now you guys can do what you want but you hear in the distance the rumbling and roaring of even more creatures we should probably get going just too much noise here take these back to the vehicle as he uh indicates to the uh fuel casters and hands Does them off to the person he's hop off it will be faster with just one I'll, I'll grab them and attach and put them in the uh, side pouch the, on the motorcycle Freaking Jax pops a wheelie and drives back to the Jeep. Okay, the and the three of you are walking back to the Jeep? Uh, okay. Expedited walking. Very as good. fast as we can while carrying this person. Okay, <laughs> we'll say you make it in five minutes instead of ten. With uh, Perseus running, he might be able to get there at the same time as 
the motorcycle. If you, run, if you if, well, <laughs> if you run ahead of Johnny and Oda, you can for sure make it before them. But you eventually all group up. Um, there's two fuel canisters sitting next to the jeep. You got the motorcycle. You're all here. What are you all doing? I'm gonna check the gas gauge on the motorcycle. <laughs> It yeah, it's got a it's got a quarter a quarter at least filling the car up one of the cans all right johnny fills it up you put the woman in the back seat again yep very good oh the jeep is fully filled uh he's dumping you dump the entire first can there's the second can it doesn't look like it's overflowing yet do you want to still save some for the motorcycle Actually, oh yeah, I guess we'll give some to motorcycle. I motorcycle ain't got that big of a gas tank, right? Right. Nah. It's like in the front body of it, I think. There's like a cap up here on this yeah, pile. Like a cap up there or something. All right, you yeah. pour some gas, and then you've got like a three quarters of a gas tank left over. You guys can he'll store pour as much as you can in the back of the jeep. Oh, he'll leave half of the canister full, and he'll stuff a rag into it. Yes. Oh my goodness. Is the woman still asleep? She is still unconscious, sleeping. Yes. We just kidnapped her. She's a very heavy sleeper. Everyone else. He he dance. drugged her. He gave her a shot. She's recovering. <laughs> you all drive on, driving around the tent and further on. Your wrist devices point towards that mesa, and you're getting closer and closer. At the bottom of the mesa, you see a jeep, smoke rising from the hood, blood scattered around. So this is Perseus as you are driving up. This is what you can see sitting in the passenger seat. This mesa thing is up maybe 200 feet or so, and you're not sure. You can't really see what's at the top. At the bottom, you can see a jeep smoking as you all drive up to the scene. Your wrist devices are pointing forward and up. All you can oh. see is the 200 foot of the mesa. You can't see anything on the top. Jack's going to do a drive around just in case. You do a drive we'll around. Back here. We'll pull up near the smoking jeep. Um, uh, Jack, make an intelligence roll to see if you can perceive okay. anything beyond what I've already said. Okay. I crash into a rock. Oh, God. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. You definitely no, don't see really anything out of the out of the normal. Lots of rocks around this thing. Well, at the very least, there's no strange tongues trying to waiting to pull us up. Perhaps you should climb ahead. We'll follow behind, Perseus. As you come over to the jeep, you see blood scattered all over the seats, but no tracks drawing anything away. The hood has been crushed and it's smoking. Scratches on the jeep. the jeep. You look inside the jeep. Well, it has a machine gun hanging off the back. Some fallen over ammo crates, some MREs, and more blood. Johnny's going to take his lady friend. <laughs> Remove her from the back of the jeep and roll her underneath of it. Okay. First, she's will look uh, up the side. I bet you it's one of those strange birds. Do we want to try to climb up or do we want to try to get whatever's up there and come down? 200 feet climb. Johnny I'm, looks I'm at be, his scrawny I'm arms. Be, I'm <laughs> I'm, I might have some good muscle, but uh, even even that's a bit much. What we're after is up there. I doubt Nazis would have been able to climb up it. 200 foot mountain as well so there, I, there must be some secret passage don't yeah. think they voluntarily went up there johnny says kind of like hooking his thumb over his shoulder at the burned out jeep covered in blood earlier i saw multiple jeeps coming to and from this area there must be something that we're not seeing you have any rope in the back of this one there is rope how long does the rope appear to be a hundred feet i guess it would too good if it was 200 feet huh oh johnny will attempt to start trying to climb I will, I will also have to start trying to climb uh, after attaching the rope to my waist. As here, we go. Here, how about, how about this? So that so that nobody falls, let's attach rope to our ship. Let's attach rope to each of us. So I can fall yes. with you? No, thank you. Oda snores in the back seat of the Jeep <laughs> in the trunk. You swear well, you can hear him snoring. Oda, are you, are you awake? Okay, he's still there. I'm sure he's he fell hasn't asleep. In a while. <laughs> yeah. He's been watching his daughter by himself. I think he's been up all day. Uh, oof. We'll roll Oda underneath the Jeep also. Okay, very good. <laughs> Oda doesn't seem to be moving. Screw that, just send him back in time, so because we, we'll have to come back down to get him. We can lay down. If you guys are climbing, make might checks. Shit! <laughs> Climbs one foot, falls to the ground, dies. 16. This is funny. Let me see. So, Jack goes first. He starts climbing. He gets about 10, maybe 20 feet. And you slip. You thud down. Oh, that hurts your ankles. Whatever you fell on, it hurts. And you take two points of damage. Johnny, you eagerly start climbing. But you t grab onto a rock 
that is not stable and it completely comes out and you have no grip on anything as your hands fall off, your feet have no grip, your arms go flailing as you fall down. Uh, Three points of damage as you get the air knocked out of you. Perseus, you climb like an Olympian. You see them fall, and you have already started climbing as they're falling, and you make your way. By this point, you're already 100 feet up, and you've got the rope hanging down behind you on your on your waist. You've got another 100 feet to go. As you look down, you see your companions are at the bottom, recovering from their drop. How much damage is that again? Uh, three. three. Three for you. All right. You fell a little bit higher than Jack did. Yeah. Oh, oh that smarts. If I can, I'll attack. I'll attach the rope to uh, to some safe place on the rock. Okay, you do so. Yes, because if we fall 100 feet, that'll be fine. <laughs> if we, at least if you fall from 100 feet up, you have rope to catch you. All right, you secure. Jack, you sir, you take the rope from your waist and you secure it on a, a solid rock or a, or a root or something nearby. And um, you it? have another 100 feet to go as you need to roll again. The rest, uh, Johnny and not Jack, you can make it up that 100 feet for free now. Because he has the okay. rope, but beyond that, Brady the, God. Per- Perseus is <laughs> per- Perseus is the one that's up there. So it's on you, Perseus. You can do might. I'll let you do speed or might. It's up to you. All right, uh, I'll do speed and I'll also uh, do my three points of uh, effort. Oh, that's not good. I died. Oh no, Jack. And uh, Johnny, you guys are starting to think about climbing the rope. Jack's already starting to climb the rope. Yeah, Johnny's going after him. Okay, very good. You guys are starting to climb. Um, (laughs) As Perseus is climbing, he's doing really good, actually. He makes it about another 25 feet when suddenly both of you the sunlight was like beaming right down on on top of you as you're climbing but suddenly you're just in shade and you're like what the fuck like the sun is away you're in total shade all around and you look up as you see a massive bird fly over lifting its wings up flapping and come straight down grabbing on to perseus or at least trying to as Perseus what? needs to make a defense roll. Perseus says, oh shit. Perseus is always getting grabbed. <laughs> 15. My god. You, how do you manage to evade these claws that slam down into the mesa side, spilling rock and scratching it as it, like, covers you in dust and rubble, and Johnny and Jack at the bottom, these rocks start tumbling down from the impact of its claws just scratching and missing at Perseus 100 feet up. Uh, so, what, so what I do, what Perseus does is he'll quickly let go of the rock that he's currently on, lumps up the drop five feet, and then he quickly re-grabs the rock. All right, it comes down maybe uh, 10, 20 feet, and then it is flying up away and over as it's going to come back in circle. Jack's gonna, All of your turns. I will... Uh, <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Jack, Jack runs for... You're going to have to use... You can make a speed roll to get to the gun and shoot, or you can just move to get on the gun. You have to roll a 12 to be able to shoot the gun as well as move to it. If I fail, do I only move? Yeah, that's fine. Johnny's just going to keep climbing. <laughs> Very good, but now you have to make the attack roll. As you are you make it on the gun, you crank it back, you aim it, and your bullets they go all around the bird as it's flying as you're trying to you're trailing behind it as you're trying to catch up to it so, uh, so Perseus will continue trying to climb but it's you to you climb. climb you start making your way but you haven't made it to the top yet Johnny's just climbing okay you can um make it like 50 feet up and you're holding on to the rope so you've got yeah. another 50 feet to go to make it to that tied off point 150 to the top uh the the woman snores underneath the jeep oda snores underneath the jeep the bird swoops down and tries to attack at you jack make a defense roll as it tries to scoop you up with its claws question since i uh, used my dilation last session do i still have it this session y- yeah 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 you we we said that you would have it to the end of this one the the others okay. the others have ended but you still have yours so that gives you an advantage yes absolutely or an, uh, by two actually so boom boom all right very good go ahead make your defense roll oh my god beautiful (laughs) okay yeah okay so it's flying right down for you and you have the gun aimed right at its like chest or face and you just like rip into it blah 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 blah, as i'm gonna call that six points of damage plus your abilities what does that do uh eight points of damage 
Ooh, so eight total, eight total. Eight total, very nice. All right, you rip into this bird, and as it's about to come down and grab onto you in the back of the Jeep, it, like, flails its wings to kind of, like, push back, and then it goes straight up trying to avoid your gunfire as, like, you see feathers and blood leaking from its guts that you're uh, shooting at. Very good hit, and it seems bloodied, too, with that as well. You fucked it up with that shot. And it's actually your turn again, Jack, because that was your awesome defense roll. Shoot again! Go ahead. Johnny continues climbing to the top of the rope. Or just also continue climbing. Shooting a gun, you said is speed, right? Yeah. Also go ahead and put um, one of my speed efforts into it. I'll put a uh, an effort into it. If I if I have one edge and then I use an effort, what does that do? It reduces the effort cost by one. So instead of three, it would be two. All right, I'll do that. So I take two out of my pool, and would if would reducing it make a ten work or no? Mm, no, it have it would have to be a twelve. Oh, okay. Just being straight up with you. Oh, okay. Then never mind. But honestly, you need to do the effort before instead of, you know. Okay, good. Oh, okay. You know how that would work. Because you could just be like, oh, yeah, I don't yeah. want to do that because I wouldn't have hit. You got to kind of do it before thing. Yeah. But anyway. Oh, uh, since, I, since I said that, I'll keep it ticked out then. Okay, cool. It missed. Sure, sure. Okay, so you fire at it, as it's, but it's retreating and it's evading you. It's doing spins and blah, blah, blah. So you miss. Mm -hmm. And 12, are you applying effort, Perseus? Yeah, uh, yeah, I am applying effort, yes. All right, that's enough. You make the last 25 or so feet as you ch -ch 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 free climb up. Boom, you come up to the grass straw-like area and you might be shocked, you might be horrified as you see intestines strewn, Nazis sprawled apart. Their guns broken, their bodies twisted, there's th bunches of nests of smaller birds, and they're nibbling at the intestines and chewing on the on the Nazis. There's bones everywhere, there's blood everywhere, but you can see with your own eyes, in the center of all these creatures, the green life stone. Your wrist device, ching, 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 it's glowing and pointing right towards it. But that is the end of your turn as you are able to make it to the top. Johnny will attempt to climb up a little bit more. Okay. Past the rope. You, uh, oh, very... You make it up. You still have about 25 feet to go from the top. So you free climbed. So you're like, 100, you're like 150 feet up or so. 50 feet away from the safety of the rope bound below you. The bird, seeing Perseus at the top, evades the gunfire and flies towards the top. It comes in, trying to defend its nest. Defense roll, Perseus. It slashes you. It comes in and it scratches your back from the bottom to the top with its talons, sending you over backwards as it continues to fly over with its momentum. First, I'm mm. glad my shield is on my back. Bling. Perseus would typically shield stone when he's not using it. And it would have damaged your back, but instead it damages your sides as you take five points of damage. Ooh, as you get knocked down forward, as the birds in the nest start screeching. You have no line of sight of the of the bird anymore, Jack. It flew over the mesa. Did you attempt to climb? No! <laughs> Perseus will make a mad dash for the green stone. So... All the birds. Okay, uh, Johnny, you shakily, you don't go anywhere. You don't drop, but you don't go up. You're starting to get muscle fatigue, and you're starting to get psyched out. You, you stay stuck at 150 feet. Uh, Perseus, go ahead and make a speed or might roll to dive in and grab the life stone. That's 20. How do you jump in between this nest of dinosaur birds, tackle the stone? So, so as this one uh, starts uh, ducking its head down to feast on this Nazi, uh, I'll use that opportunity to just jump over and do a barrel roll. Uh, grabbing the stone as I, uh, as I make my, uh, downward scoop. Nice. As I sit back up on my feet, I'll, uh, with the stone in hand, I'll then run back over to the edge. Since I'm not doing any action, any combat this turn, I'll put of speed. I'll hover, I'll, uh, yell down the mountain at two per- uh, Jack and Johnny, we have a stone. As uh, if I had an action this turn, I'll hit the uh, first device. So uh, Johnny, you're you're freaking out. You're psyching out. You're like looking right at the rock wall in front of you. Maybe you're looking down at the 150 foot drop. Uh, you look up. You see Perseus holding the life stone as he disappears with the time wrist device. Oda and the flower necklace woman are asleep. Johnny's going to climb back down. <laughs> <laughs> Try to get to the rope at least. You can do that. You get down to the rope. And just rappel down, like slide down. 
if I have time, if not. All right, you can you can make it to the bottom, but that's your entire action. I'm gonna rush over and slap Oda's wristwatch. You reach under the under the jeep. You feel around on Oda's wrist device, and you bam, and then he dematerializes from under the jeep, still snoring. The woman lays under the jeep. Um, Jack, and I'll run back and hop back on the machine gun to cover Johnny's escape. You see the uh, the massive thunderbird. Woof, woof, swatting its wings as it's circling back around. It lets out an ungodly screech echoing all throughout the savannah, probably drawing dinosaurs all around. Johnny will run to the jeep, grab the lady, and uh, hit his band, holding her tight. You hold her tight, <laughs> hoping it will work. As you... Vroom. Jack's gonna hold on to the gun tight and slap his wristwatch, hoping it works. <laughs> you hold on to the mounted machine gun in the back of the Jeep, and you hit your wrist device. Vroom. And you all dematerialize. And we will begin next session, session 5, in 2460. Deuces. Have a good night.